Government starts Bharat Nets as 34,000 crore phase 2 for rural broadband connectivity. The government will start its second and final phase of Bharat Net project today, with an outlay of around Rs 34,000 crore, to provide high-speed broadband in all Panjayats by March 2019. The government will start its second and final phase of Bharat Net project today, with an outlay of around Rs 34,000 crore, to provide high-speed broadband in all Panjayats by March 2019, Telecom Secretary Arun Sundararajan said. Under the project, the government aims to connect 1.5 lakh Panjayats through 10 lakh kilometers of additional optical fiber and give bandwidth to telecom players at nearly 75% cheaper price for broadband and Wi-Fi services in rural areas. We have launched Phase 2 of Bharat Net to connect 1.5 lakh Grand Panchayats with high-speed broadband by March 2019. Phase 1 of the project, under which 1 lakh GPs were to be connected, will be completed by the end of this year. We expect telecom operators to provide at least 2 megabits per second speed to rural households, Sandararajan said. Telecom Minister Minit Saina Law and IT Minister Ravi Shankar Prasat and Human Resource Development Minister Prakash Javadkar will launch the project on Monday. The Telecom Ministry will sign agreements with seven states, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Kattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Akhand, which will roll out the project on their own with partial funding from the central government. The total project cost of Bharat Net is around us 45,000 crore of which Rs 11,200 crore have been used for the first phase. After rural exchange rollout in the country when telecom services started, this is the biggest project involving domestically manufactured products for the entire project, Sandararajan said. She said around Rs 4.5 lakh crore value can be added to the national gross domestic product on completion of Bharat Net Phase 2 as a study has suggested that every 10% usage of Internet in India drives up GDP by 3.3%. BSNL will roll out optical fiber in yet to be covered locations of eight states, Assam, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal. Jammu and Kashmir and Sikkim that were not covered under the first phase of Bharat Net. Power Grid Corporation of India has been awarded a contract for three states, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and Odisha. The government estimates that the second phase of Bharat Net will double the existing optical fiber footprint in the country and generate employment of 10 crore mandates during the rollout of the project. It is setting up connection point or exchange for optical fiber at each panchayat under the scheme. Thereafter, telecom operators can buy connection or bandwidth from the government to sell the same in rural areas. Broadband services rates, Sandararajan said are expected to be low because of intense competition in the sector and the government is offering bandwidth under the project to telecom operators at 75% lower rate than they currently buy it. She added that telecom operators Reliance Jio, Bharti Airtel, Idea Cellular and Vodafone are interested in providing services under Bharat Net. The government will provide support of Rs 3,600 crore to telecom operators for rolling out Wi-Fi in villages. India at present has 38,000 Wi-Fi hotspots. Under Bharat Net Phase 2, around 6-7 lakh Wi-Fi hotspots will be added to 2-5 hotspots in each panchayat. Some of the Wi-Fi hotspots may not be commercially viable initially. So, we will provide viability gap funding of around Rs 3,600 crore to telecom operators, the secretary said. The total Wi-Fi rollout cost is estimated to be around Rs 10,000 crore, she said. Under Bharat Net Phase 1, the government has set up 15,000 Wi-Fi hotspots of which around 11,000 are in rural areas and the rest in semi-rural. Like and share this video and for more news and updates subscribe to our YouTube channel.